Thank you, Jason David Frank. And Mr. Saban. That's Tom. And that's Chris. Uh, Decca, what's today's topic? Grab your magnifying glasses and keep an open mind because today we are going to re-examine and review some information on a controversial topic. MMPR. Hmm. It's time for our first revisit, so stay tuned. It's PRNT time. Hey everybody, I'm Brian Safinas, lifelong Power Rangers fan and author of The Darkest of Suns Will Rise, available on Amazon at the link below. So get ready, Rangers fans. It's PRNT time. <laughs> Welcome, Rangers, to this episode of PRNT, your source for all things Power, Power Rangers. Rangers. A few weeks ago, we posted a video on fan films, and we mentioned one called MMPR. Uh, we briefly mentioned the mystery behind it, but on this episode, we plan to take a more uh, in-depth look at it. Uh, we want to mention that all the facts uh, that we're going to mention were researched and compiled by one of our viewers, uh, Brian uh, Sifness. Brian, Brian Sfinas. Sfinas. Yeah. We suck Brian. at names. Yeah, sorry. Brian, we're so sorry. Uh, Brian but, knows who he is. But yeah, he yeah. Uh, he basically wrote this episode for us, right. and uh, we thank you for helping us out. Right. Uh, so to get started, we want to uh, give you a brief timeline of events. On May 3rd, 2013, this is the date of the original Kickstarter launch, uh, and Dominic Civilli was listed as the director of photography for MMPR. Uh, on May 11th, 2013, uh, that was the date of their first update, uh, who, excuse me, where they featured Kimberly and Ashley Carvalho, there are a lot of interesting names out there, uh, twins who, uh, who were going to play Kimberly and Trini. Uh, at this point, they had 80% of their goal. On May uh, 20th, 2013, uh, the Kickstarter passes its goal on guessing a funding. Yes? Yes. Uh, Diana called, called to Cataldi. Wow. <laughs> okay. Diana Cataldi, the Blue Ranger, uh, she's fitted for her Ranger suit. Uh, this is also the first time that the promise of a second episode besides the first one is, is going to be made. Uh, it's a very quick update, but it does say that there are at least going to be two episodes of MMPR. Uh, we now move on to November 23rd, 2013. Uh, that is the release of the first trailer uh, for episode one. Uh, again, we uh, what we're seeing here looks awesome, uh, and we, we're excited about it. Uh, on June 28th, 2013, uh, the project announces that it has successfully raised... $41,907 from 478 backers. Uh, June 25th, 2014, finally another year, uh, the question is asked. Uh, if you had the choice to have someone from the original Mighty Morphin Power Ranger cast, who would it be? Uh, the answer, of course, would be Jason David Frank, but he would later go on to turn the project down. Uh, the final tweet from the MMPR Twitter account was on June 24th of 2014, uh, asking Ranger fans if they would like to see Jason David Frank in the film. After that, no Twitter comments or tweets. Uh, on September 23rd, 2014, another update. Uh, this one begins, Hey all, uh, a lot of people have been asking us for an update. Uh, and it follows with Dominic explaining that uh, he he just can't keep posting. We're working on it. Uh, so they're having post-production problems. Uh, and, and the post ends uh, with, We apologize for the lateness and we are working on completing the project as soon as possible. Uh, between September 2014 and January of 2015, uh, there were a few posts from Dominic again asking us to be patient. Uh, mentioning that post production is the longest part of any film, etc., etc., so on and so forth. He assures us that they haven't been shut down and that they're not just blowing smoke, that they are working on the project. Then we come to January 31st of 2015. Uh, this is the final Kickstarter update 
uh, in which Dominic leaves us uh, this YouTube video asking him to for asking us to forgive him uh, for suffering a personal tra tragedy uh, and promising the project is still in the works. Um, we, we posted the link to that video in the description. Uh, most fans, of course, willing to give Dominic some leeway, some leeway about his suffering and personal loss. Uh, and of course, it's enough to set anybody back professionally a little bit, uh, but on the other hand, some of them weren't. Um, it's also notable again to mention that the last time the update was posted on this Kickstarter was two years ago. Okay, and uh, it seemed to be the beginning of a series of other delays and misdirects by Dominic without the fans ever getting the answers they deserved. Okay, there was just a lot of still unanswered questions and wonderings that are never really fully answered. Uh, some of you may be wondering uh, if the VFX studio ever posted anything about the project. Well, on February 18th of 2016, they say that their contributions are finished, uh, contradictory to uh, Dominic's earlier statements, and afterward, they simply disappear. Uh, this is Threshold Film's last post on its timeline. The very last communication about the project came on the Facebook page of MMPR on May 11, 2016, again asking fans to be patient and saying that the VFX company Threshold Films Incorporated was not finished with the project yet, even though they had mentioned that they were done with it uh, some three months er er earlier. Now, you may be wondering about Dominic himself. Um, he is still out and about um, on Twitter, even though all posts prior to January 19th, 2016 have been deleted. Uh, he also will not answer any tweets or messages about MMPR. Um, and apparently he is even still crowdsourcing um, and is listed as a director of photography for an Indiegogo page titled Slapface. Uh, we'll let you draw your own conclusions. Uh, but there's certainly no arguing that around 500 members of the Power Rangers community are out about 40 bucks each. And the thing they were told that their money would be used for this project is nowhere to be seen. We have no idea where that money went. Uh, we've had some fun trailers, a short unrelated film, uh, but we haven't seen the project itself at all. Uh, whether it's a, a feature-length film or a series of webisodes, both of which were promised, but again, we never saw. The website is gone, and Dominic uh, is no longer talking to the Power Rangers community. Uh, when we mentioned it a few weeks ago, we were in no way condoning uh, what happened, nor were we trying to sugarcoat it or uh, cast it in a positive light. Uh, Again, we'll leave you to your conclusions. These are just the facts. We're not trying to put any spin on it one way or the other. Again, these facts were compiled by uh, by Brian. and Which, uh, again, we thank you. Yeah. And he, he wanted us to kind of know the story behind the story, so he did a great job researching that. Uh, who knows what's, what's going to happen right. from, from here. Um, we do think that what we did get to see looked amazing. Right. I wish so much we uh, we would have gotten more. Sadly, I don't think that is going to happen. Um, but yeah, thank you so very much for liking, commenting, sharing this video with your friends, and of course, subscribing. And don't forget to ring that bell uh, to receive notifications when we post new videos. If you go here, you can like us on Facebook. If you go here, you can follow us on Twitter. And if you go here, you can follow us on Instagram. Remember as we sign off, our hope is that the power will always protect you. Let's power down.